Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Poco X3 Pro and today we are talking about a much requested ROM. Now this is not a complete review, this is a first impressions because I've flashed it last night and I've ran a few benchmarks, I've used it, I've you know just go ahead and checked things which are working which are not working so this should pretty much give you an idea if you want to use this as a daily driver or not but before we get into the initial impressions if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video in the description of each video you will find a link to our telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other so join us there last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado Hello awesome people, welcome to PhoneOps, my name is Kalash, let's get going. Alright, so what do we have here? Havoc OS version 4.8 official Android 11 for the Poco X3 Pro. Now this is updated on the 16th of August. Now the device changelog says initial official build, August security patch, source upstream, Fixed nightlight, update, update RU and UK, RUA device settings translations, merge latest CAF tag on kernel, so that is good. Enable the pre-rendering feature, address some SE policy log spam, set default Dalvik heap values to apply on GSI DSU using arrow YU vendor, add missing surface flinger and SSR props. Notes, clean flash required, dirty flash at your own risk, suggested firmware 12.5.2 global or greater, safety net passed out of the box, SE Linux status is enforcing, both vanilla and gapps builds are available. So a pretty substantial change log for a first initial release over there. And if you have a look, to me it looks like a very very clean ROM, very very smooth, very very fluid. Although, you know, it still is not as supremely smooth and fluid as Aero OS, but hey, we have different ROM choices and we have different ways to, you know, like customization and stuff. And matter of fact, AirOS doesn't have a lot of customization. Havoc OS over here does have. So let's actually dive into settings over here and let's go to about phone and Android version. Now, as you see, Havoc OS, Android version 11, Havoc version 4.8, August security patch here. And the kernel that you're using is a arrow kernel. Etsy Linux status as stated is enforcing and the build date is the 16th of August 2021. So all in all, this is a pretty, pretty neat ROM to give you the initial impressions. Everything works. I've not really had any major, major problems. When you boot into the ROM for the first time, you're greeted with this clean wallpaper and not a lot of clutter. At the same time, if you have a look, this ROM doesn't boot with a lot of bloatware as is the case with a lot of custom ROMs. Now to the left, you do have your Google Discover or Google Feed, whatever you want to call it. And it's relatively smooth from a 120 Hertz experience. Now I have that bad habit of uh, pushing the maximum frames when it comes to devices like these. I keep 120 Hertz always on because battery life for me is not a concern. and. Uh, that is the reason I you know, plan to or try to take the most out of the performance of a device. If you swipe from the top to bottom, you will be greeted by your usual quick tiles over here. You do have your emergency calls only, phone vibrates, so all the subtle things over there. But what you will notice that it does have a lot of quick tiles. If you, even if you go to edit, you do see that the amount of customization and another options in quick tiles is pretty, pretty good. You have something like sleep mode, sound search, switch data card, USB tethering, all those things are there in quick tiles as well. CPU info, kill app, all those things are present as well. But you do see that heads up notifications can be blocked. You have caffeine, dark theme is enabled and you have screen recorder as well. So let's have a look at the screen recorder real quick. Now over here you have record audio, show touches on screen, show dot to stop recording, lower recording quality and internal and external audio can be captured as well. Now, after the timer, as always, you will have the screen recording started. And as you can notice, there is no lag whatsoever in the screen recording. So even when recording screen, the ROM is running absolutely smooth. Although I don't know how smooth you'll be noticing it because I am recording this on 4K 30 FPS. Anyways, let's stop the screen recording real quick. There you go. The screen recording has been stopped and then you have the option of sharing it and doing other stuff. So I don't know why that, yeah. Anyways, so that is that. Now, apart from this, if you go to recents, you do have very, very smooth recents over here. 
you at the bottom you have the screenshot option in which you can share edit and delete and you have clear all and you have the share option as well so pretty pretty good a uh, very very elaborate share menu if you tap on this you get an option for split screen kill the application or app info right so the recents are pretty smooth and again the app drawer is pretty pretty basic and if we have a look at the launcher settings over here you do get the shady launcher which comes with havoc os you have quite a lot of home screen customization you have app drawer customization you can set the grids you can set the icons icon packs and you you do have some gestures as well like swipe down to clear all and stuff like that now this rom does ship with google camera go so that works pretty decent it takes care of your basic requirements of you know clicking pictures and stuff you can always go ahead and uh, you know flash g cam and you if you pick the right xml you'll have a pretty pretty neat experience so no problems there at all now you know till now you will find that everything seems pretty similar and pretty normal compared to other custom roms but there is one specific area where all custom roms you know differentiate themselves you have something called as configuration center in havoc os now if you have a look over here you have a ton of customization you have status bar quick settings lock screen ambient display buttons and navigation gestures notifications battery saving media miscellaneous now this is where channels like ours come into the picture you can you know all go ahead and look at the screenshots and determine what is included and what is not but i will take you through these features one by one so that you can determine if this amount of customization combined with the benchmark numbers and my opinion as to what my experience has been should help you determine if you want to flash this particular rom or not now you do have double tap to sleep network speed carrier label battery icon customizations status icons and you do have notification count as well now under quick setting over here you do have quick pull down for the right or left you have smart pull down battery estimates you have the option to tint the tiles i don't know what that does to be honest you have tiles columns landscape portrait all the you know various sorts of customization and you have a few other options here as well now when you talk about lock screen very very basic features over here double tap to sleep status bar quick settings and charging info you can enable or disable the display of that information now under ambient display you have all these options available and you can choose to force the brightness values as well moving on you have buttons and navigation so swap keys answer call keyboard cursor control and stuff like that under gesture you have quickly open camera on system navigation is gesture navigation prevent ringing power menu show device controls you can enable advanced reboot as well so yeah advanced reboot can be enabled quick torch skip music tracks swipe to screenshot this has become one of my favorite features because it makes your life very very convenient because screenshots are something that we have started using increasingly high at least i have you have edge lighting heads up notifications notification headers kill app button and noisy notifications as well now moving on under battery saving you have block sensors aggressive battery so you can go ahead and enable that and you have sleep mode as well under media you do have adaptive playback and all the visual stuff over here and in miscellaneous you do have the gaming mode in which you can go ahead and add applications of your choice you have the dynamic mode as well so pretty decent gaming mode features over there and you can decide if you want a full or a partial screenshot now if you go to about you have all the information about the developers and how this rom is being developed and things like those so pretty pretty neat over there apart from this if you actually go to display you will notice that you have all your usual features minimum refresh rate of set it to 120 as i said earlier and you have tap to wake prevent accidental wake up you have again lock screen customizations over here right so all in all you know from the time i have flashed havoc os the experience has been pretty subtle and pre pretty smooth i've not really had any problems now not to say that this is a full review or not to say that i've used it for a couple of days these are initial impressions so take them with a grain of salt when i use it for a longer duration i might have issues but yeah i can tell you that you know voice over vo voice over lte or wifi calling has been working absolutely fine for me i've not really really had any problems now before we actually conclude the video let's actually go ahead and have a look at the benchmark numbers so first we tested cpu throttle test using the thermal profile of benchmark 
pretty splendid result here cpu throttled to 92 percent of its max performance and the performance average was 176,640 gips so pretty decent performance there no complaints there at all moving on if we look at geekbench over here pretty decent performance in geekbench as well 7711 7, single core and 2551 multi core now from a 860 point of view this is not a high score this is sort of a medium score not low not high it's a medium score and if we move on to enter to benchmark 562425 again the scores when it comes to benchmarks for havoc os are sort of in the middle level so i'm guessing this this rom is sort of an all-rounder it doesn't give you out and out you know performance or out and out battery life so more or less a stable basic balanced rom over here with a lot of customization and you can of course install gcam and customize this the way you would want to customize your own device let me know in the comment section what do you think about havoc os should i use it for a couple of days and then do a full review or should i do a gaming live stream to test the gaming performance until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye